what's the best way to deal with a fucking war and like deal with just plain up, let's be honest here, monsters. You cut them off and you just throw fire barrels down there and fuck them up. See, this is what I like. I like this kind of war stuff that we're going into because people, like I said last time, fucking Maggie's coming into kingdom and another fucking kingdom. Like, let's keep doing shit like this. Like, the, just the monsters that, like, Hakuryu has just created with these guys. Like, they don't know no fear. They are just breaking apart the formation. Like, they're just generally charging in for, like, what a huge, like, let's be honest, they're, like, three times the size of them. Like, the whole, like, Koha's forces and, like, they're surrounding them. Like, the Eastern army is just straight up just charging straight in through the actual main force splitting them up and it's just like oh we're gonna try and like encircle them into like a formation like as they're like trying to fuck up the forces but it's like yeah man like you you forget it's like you know as they're like trying to encircle them and they got like this whole area like it's just stopped and it's like oh it's the end of you give it up guys and like and then it's just laughing you know give up you say and they just have these fucking raids and like yeah they're just cutting through fucking shields like they're cutting through stuff that is supposed to solve swords and fucking cavalry and like and these guys are going for it like it's nothing like he's just straight up staying there and one thing i actually did manage to catch as well is like what we saw and i'm guessing this is what the help is that we saw some magicians next to like hakuryu as well where we saw with uh, the girl that came in so i'm guessing those people that you saw the magicians are uh, with him like are uh, the ones that you know he took away from like the help armament who are actually using that fucking power to amplify hakuryu's abilities and i'm thinking mm. like if not that's with that girl that he's got there which there's still a lot of mystery behind her like what exactly is her deal? Why is she with Hakuryu? Is she like someone from like the Hell Farm inside that actually said, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna help you, Hakuryu, just don't manipulate my mind. Like, what is exactly with her? Because she's very curious, and I want to see more about her. But I like, like, you know, for, they had to get in the big guns. They had to bring him on and say, you know, regardless of what, this, this battle's gonna get gruesome, you know. And they even said, you know, my master has to take care of this. They get fucking Komei. Koha, he does the Dante El Fauci, so like he does the teleportation, it's like you get as well Koha with um which I like to see that he's actually also got the heart of Jinko. We, we know he could do the full one. So they're actually saving their energy. They're like, no, we can't go full out yet. He's actually using the harm to Jinko just getting like his uh Lila J like just transformed into the site using the ability and he throws a bunch of those fucking hits like getting rid of the land that's across them and it's like what are you doing and then just come just like looking like above them like that it's like where the fuck you think you guys are and it's like they just throw a bunch of file uh, barrels just there as they're like trying to get down there it's like oh we're just gonna kill you just set those motherfuckers on fire you got them completely trapped they can't get out of there not one single bit you put the entire like crazy ass fucking army in just one position where they can't do it unless they can do finalist shit where they can just jump from one continent to the next like that then i don't think it's gonna be happening i mean hakuryu like i don't know if he's going to make those fucking like those sprout things come out of their heads and like make them fly but that was a really clever move to see it. You saw, like, how destructive power that was. That they just destroyed it and made a fucking canyon. Just out of nowhere. And it's just like, oh, we're surrounded by a fucking cliff. And it's just like, well, fuck you guys. So that was a really smart move on their end. But Hakuryu doesn't seem, like, phased at all, really, from that. So I'm curious, like, what, how, you know, what, how will the war move from this uh, point onward? And, like I said, I'm really liking this, like, where it's going. Like, we've been focusing a lot on Hakuryu for the past year. And, you know, maybe... I'd like to say after this, maybe this should end the whole Hakuryu stuff that's been happening because I imagine Aladdin's probably going to appear at the end saying, yo, just stop. There's fucking murder going on. I don't want this shit. Stop. But mind you, he's a bit tied up with a moment with Alibaba. So, you know, this is kind of the perfect time for them to actually deal with this. But uh, unless like, Alibaba comes back very quickly, which from what they're making it sound like, it's like, Alibaba and Judal are going to come back for a while, but then again, you've got to consider about Alibaba's, like, body itself. And, like, by the time, like, they get back, what the fuck is Judal going to come back to? Oh, look, the entire fucking my army is just fucked up, and that's makes you wonder, like, if he's doing this well against these guys, how the fuck would they would have dealt if, like, Judal was there with them? Like, that... I feel like Judal is just a huge tipping point for them, saying, like, okay, look, they've got a Magi on their side as well. They've got a small army that is wrecking people. 
if they had Judal in this war as well, I honestly think Hakaria might have won this. But I think it's just because the odds are so not in his favour. Like, you've got all, like, you've got Cohen, Kome, Koha, Kogyoku, like, just the big amount of the army and the strategy. Like, like uh, Kome is a fucking, he's a strategic genius like that. We know Hakuri was pretty goddamn good. We don't know about his generals. We don't know about this girl that's there. She's, like, an actual genius. But we know that Kome is a fucking genius. So that makes me wonder, like, you know, he can't take on all that much. Like, I mean, the forces seem to be going in, but it's, like, makes me wonder. Why didn't they? Like, they could have just go, honestly, just car charge straight in. Get Cohen. Get Kome. Get Koha. Kogyoku. All of them fucking raid him then and just try and take him out it's like you just trap you teleport his entire little campment just there so i'm guessing there's a limit to like what exactly kome can do with his powers or maybe he's just trying to save it for like a good amount of time like saying no i need to just save this like, actual like when shit gets real like so i'm curious about but other than that great chapter i'm gonna give it a solid eight but like i said i want maybe i don't want the uh, water last too long I want, like, you know, a nice to be a pacing of war. I want to see, like, the actual co like co family get some good, uh, you know, backstory. And also, as well, I want to know more about Haku Hakuryu's crew, actually. Like, the two generals, we already know that. Oh, yeah, we, we tried to go against fucking, like, Gyoko, and that didn't exactly go too well. So I'm more curious about what exactly is that girl's kind of story. Why is she staying there? And what exactly is she offering to this war? Is it those magicians, or are those just, like, the alpha that like, you just had that just being manipulated? What's really with her side of the story? Or is that actually her people? So that's kind of a question to ask. Maybe for next week's chapter. But if that's even the case. Because like I said, guys. I, I know like I really want to keep doing Mikey Weekly. But fucking. I, it's really hard to do. When the translators themselves. Are being so fucking slow about it. When they. Like sometimes they would at least. They'd take a month. And they'll do like. Oh here's two chapters. Like. You, you guys know me. I own every fucking volume of Maggie that there is in English release. I own, like, half of the series already. Like, in full amount. And it's just like, you got these guys really have to do it. And I feel bad because I feel a lot of people lose interest in this stuff when you've got, like, you're waiting two weeks and then you have a build-up chapter. That's the only one that's translated. Like, you know, I'm just saying, guys. Like, seriously, manga stream or something, just please pick it up. Like, I would... I'm not even joking. I could, I would sacrifice one of my main series that I re took review about just so I could have Margie on there for, for like translation wise, not fucking like burn to the fucking altar. I'm, I'm being dead serious about that. It's like because that's how much I fucking love the series. But it's like either sense scan, get some fucking people on there. You actually need to actually put some fucking dying on it because like it's a big fucking hitter. If not, you know. Fucking someone else, please get manga streams. Do it. I, I really am fucking begging here at this point. Someone translate this stuff either faster, better, whatever you need to do. I know they're nice translations and all that, but I don't mind the quality of the pictures being a little bit shittier. Just if that means the writing is going to be up there faster. Just fucking saying. I'm tired of looking at fucking Reddit and forums and stuff to see this, but that's all for me. So thank you that much for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time.